Hello everyone, got a very, very critical, important update here. Just thought I'd put this all together for you guys. I'm not gonna talk about each article. There's like about 15 or 20 here. I just put them all together from reading and I just wanted to share them with you. I'm just gonna read the headlines and brief description. I'll leave all the links in the description. You can put two and two together and figure out what's gonna be going down here very shortly. It's looking like very soon and very likely. All right. Here we go. China tells military to be ready to move to North Korea border. China deploys 150,000 troops to deal with possible North Korean refugees over fears Trump may strike Kim Jong-un following missile attack on Syria. Trump's Syria strike was widely interpreted as a warning to North Korea. China, which was left shocked by the airstrikes, has deployed medical and backup units from the PLA Army to the Yalu River. The troops have been dispatched to prepare for preemptive attacks by the U.S. U.S. Navy has moved the USS Carl Vinson Aircraft Carrier Strike Group from Singapore to North Korea after the country conducted more missile testing. The nuke sniffer aircraft arrives in Okinawa as tensions rise in the Korean Peninsula. Japan scrambles fighter jets to head off six Russian bombers flying towards its airspace amid rising tensions in the region following Trump's war words in North Korea. Defense forces reacted after two strategic bombers were seen close to Pacific Ocean. Russia then deployed two fighter jets to the northern island of Hokkaido. Two anti-submarine aircraft were deployed to the Sea of Japan by Russia, and Jap but Japanese officials said the aircraft did not trespass into its territory. Japanese and U.S. navies plan joint show of force towards North Korea. This just happened today, too. Two U.S. Enha enhances combat readiness at the Kadena Air Base in Japan. 20 F-15 fighters. All this aircraft is getting beefed up on a Japanese island close to Korea. And Kim's fate sealed elite U.S. Navy SEAL squad that killed Osama bin Laden is training in South Korea to take out Kim Jong-un. They've been taking part in drills in South Korea's tensions of Kim's regime mount. Uh, the SEAL Team 6 is part of secretive drills alongside other U.S. elite forces in South Korea amid rising tensions, according to news.com.au. And Trump, we are sending an armada, very powerful, including submarines to North Korea, along with the aircraft carrier. And North Korea warns a nuclear strike on the U.S. as Donald Trump pledges to solve the North Korea problem. North Korea tells foreign journalists to prepare for a big event Thursday. And North Korea is said to have been placing nuclear devices in a tunnel that could be detonated as early as Saturday morning. And Kim Jong-un orders immediate evacuation of Pyongyang as tensions with the U.S. escalate. North Korea leader has reportedly ordered residents of the country's capital to leave the city immediately sparking fears he may be preparing for war. Reports in the Russian newspaper Pravda report claim that more than 600,000 people, around 25% of the city's population, are being urgently evacuated. So this is, wow. Well, Nuku, North Korea's state of media warns of a nuclear strike if provoked as U.S. warships approach. North Korean state media warned on Thursday of a possible nuclear attack if the country becomes the target of American aggression. The U.S. Navy strike group is currently headed towards the peninsula on President Trump's orders over continued missile tests in the Hermit State. President Trump has asked China to rein in its neighbor, but said that if China chooses not to act, America will solve the problem. And North Korea attack imminent panic as Kim broadcasts coded messages to secret agents. North Korea has broadcast a series of cryptic coded messages believed to be instructions to secret agents in foreign countries. This just happened a couple of days, two, two days ago. Navy deploys anti-submarine aircraft at the, off the California coast. Speculation that it's a Russian or North Korean sub has been spotted. So they, uh, you can see they have these weird flight patterns out in the middle of the ocean doing circles, low level. Uh, so they're basically, what, how these things work is that uh, subs create anomalies in the Earth's magnetic field. And they, they have uh, like, the, like magnetic det detection so they can figure out where the subs are. They pinpoint them and then they have like another aircraft comes and can drop bombs on the, the sub like mines and things like that. But this is this was, this was out off the coast of California near the San Diego Naval Base there. So I don't know for sure what happened with that, but that's looking very suspicious. So I don't know if North Korea has the ability of like subs that long range, but supposedly they're supposed to have a couple satellites orbiting in space that could unleash potentially an EMP. Um, you know, they do have nuclear missiles for sure. We don't know how far they can go, how accurate they are. So the main worry is about like, you know, South Korea and Japan could be in a lot of trouble because they're close by. But who knows? I mean, unexpected things could happen here. Um, North Korea's hidden submarine threat is another worry as regime warns it's ready for war. The chilling thought of North Korea's fully submersible submarines firing a nuclear ballistic missile isn't as far as fast as some may think. Submarine threat adds to growing fears in the region as North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un's nuclear weapon ambition shows no signs of showing slowing. 
and uh, the spy base in Australia is on standby and high <coughs> as high tensions rise between the US and North Korea. And if this wasn't enough, Google searches, Google Trends, if you go to Google Trends, searches for World War III hit the highest peak ever. You can see right there, just completely skyrocketed in the last little bit here. So I'll leave all these links in the description. Check them out at your leisure. Uh, but I just want to give you a heads up, everybody. It looks very, very serious. Something could happen at any moment. It could all go off, you know, a surprise attack, like, you know, what happened in Syria, and it could spark something. Next thing you know, like, you know, South Korea is being invaded by tons of troops and getting artillery shells and nukes going off and subs shooting stuff off. Who God knows what could happen, but hopefully, hopefully nothing bad, but it's not looking good. This is seriously, I don't think these are drills. I don't think this is all like saber rattling. It looks like there's reaching a breaking point here, in my opinion. And like I say, I study the news eight to 12 hours a day, and I've been seeing this build up for years and it's reaching a fever pitch here right now. So unless cooler heads prevail and some miracle happens, I think something's going to go down here very soon. Who knows? It could be in any minute. It could be in the next few days or week. It looks like it's, something's about to happen here shortly. So, all right, everybody, just thought I'd keep you informed. Please let me know what are your thoughts on this. And uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and take care and stay safe. And uh, thank you. God bless. Bye.